Stallone was once planning a star. Now John Travolta has reportedly dropped his plans to portray legendary rocker Jim Morrison in a biopic about the star who died tragically in Paris in 1971 at the age of 27. But Morrison's life will be a film. His family is currently conducting... Well, to make a movie about your brother. Well, we wanted to um, dispel some of the rumors and innuendos and uh, fiction surrounding his life and his death. And we didn't think that... Um, people making the movies today could show what we wanted to show, show the whole person, show the whole man, show everything that he was and maybe could have been. And experience, because I have experienced some with him. This one was the most poignant, and it somehow describes Morrison better than I could in words. One, one night very late, we came in here, we drove in that gate, of course I didn't know what it was at the time, it was raining very heavily, and it was blowing heavy wind, sheets and sheets of rain, intermittently. Morrison was probably the most talented student we've ever had. Can you tell from, us? From the very beginning, that's, uh, there's, no, uh, he, there's no one else has come along. And we've had quite a few people here, as you know, uh, Francis Ford Coppola and Carol Ballard and uh, uh, dozens and dozens of students. But no one can quite match him from the standpoint of pure brilliance and talent. much about the death you know in Paris it was pretty hush hush and I for a long time I wasn't really sure that he was dead that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> through and through. You've seen your birth, your life and death. You might recall all of the rest. Did you have a good world when you died? Enough to base a movie on? 